Well, hello everybody, it's Bug Eater 64 and what we're looking at again is the Nimbus Huey UH-1. Uh, this is version 1.5 and what we're going to do today um, is I'm going to look at the uh, trim system and kind of give you an overview what it looks like and, and how I use it with my uh, Thrustmaster Warthog. Uh, Otos, and I've I've got the the throttle and the flight stick for the Otos, and I've also got an, a pair of uh, Thrustmaster rudder pedals that are old like me. So what we're going to do is just kind of go in, look at it, and show you what happens at different settings, and why I've had sometimes have problems getting used to it because it doesn't set up like I'm used to with a normal helicopter uh, a normal Huey in uh, DCS world or even uh, other makes of the Huey in uh, X-Plane 11. So we will be flying a little bit around uh, KWJF which is the home base for uh, Air America Duet. And also, if we look over across from my field, let's see, we got a glitch there, but uh, you'll see Solus Wings, his hangar. Uh, Dion Markoff using uh, the hangar. We use the same home base for our operations in our uh, virtual airlines. I use my, my home base here in. Uh, Air Hauler 2 for X-Plane. And, you know, if since we're at the home base, you may hear operations going on. Not to worry. That's just normal day-to-day -day stuff going on. So, let's get in the helicopter and kind of look around a little bit, see what's going. And as you can see, it's a little windy today because it's blowing the, pro the rotors around. See if we can see the wind sock. Yeah, it's blowing pretty good. Probably 10 to 15 knots. So, let's get in the helicopter. All right. So, right now she's uh, cold and dark. So, we're going to go up here. Now, nor this is what the helicopter is normally set up when you first get in it. Now, in other versions... I'm used to it being like this, with that two clicks. Okay, uh, our AC, we turn it to AC phase, and here we turn this to the bus. Okay, so, and with that, go ahead, let's look at see. Got that on. This is set to generator start. That's all set. Close that cover. And let's hit battery on. Through the warning. Fuel on. Now, force trim. Hydraulics is already turned on. Okay, and rattle at idle, selective all the way down. Let's go ahead and start the bird. Evidently got a little bit of lag different times. Okay. 45. Release the starter. Looks like we good we got a good start up.
Okay, so now back up here. Back to run. Inverter on. So that's all looking good. Turn our anti-collision lights on. We'll go ahead and put the pedo on. Okay, so that's looking good. Green lights are all off. This is our low our rotor RPM. So let's add power. Settle. So now, normally, what I would do, take off the helicopter, I would take my cyclic and have it about here, and my rudder pedal here. So watch, let watch what happens. I'm going to start adding some collector, and let's just see what happens. Normally, in other Hueys that I've flown, this would pretty much take care of it. It wouldn't start to spin. Uh, and our rudder pedals is what we call anti-torque pedals. Because what they're doing is they're adjusting for the torque of the rotor, the uh, tail rotor. So let's go ahead and see how this works. See, it went backwards. Look, this little indicator here, that's my throttle. That's my collector, all the way down right now. Red movement, that's my cyclic. Helicopter go forward, backwards, left to right. And this down here is my anti torque pedal. The green that you see here, and if I move the cyclic, you see the green in the center, that is my trim. So, what I can do is I can move that forward, I can move my anti-torque trim a little to the left all right and I'm not going to touch the controls and let's see what happens and you can see it started going forward I don't really want that I want to be able to get in the hover but I didn't have to I didn't touch the cyclic at all Again, now me. Okay, so a little bit better. This is what's going to get me. But just to give you an idea of what's happening uh, and why it's almost imperative that you use the force trim while flying this particular helicopter. Now the hard part, as you can see, 
I'd like to get it into a hover. likes to fight a little bit so again it's just fighting getting used to the controls did some fine tuning on my collectives so maybe I can that's yeah, a little bit better Think right. Excuse me. Alright. Ooh, look at that flag standing straight out. My goodness.
Mm, settle down. I have to work on my control saw. the light bulb. Okay, we're still having some issues here. And this isn't, at this point is not trim related. This is control related, collective. Okay, so with this, now I can neutralize the trim. So let's see what happens when I do that. Ready, set, go. a good indication there. Yeah, we did some damage to the helo that time. Alright, let's see. If we can get her safely on the ground. Way too, way too sensitive. I'm gonna have to definitely make some changes. down. Trim is neutralized. So that was interesting. Down. 
we hit the ground hard, but apparently we didn't break the airplane too bad. But, uh, hitting the ground, well, we hit fairly flat anyway. Uh, but he, I figured we should have bent <laughs> or even broken these things off. Hitting, hitting the ground at minus 1500 plus feet per minute. So. Okay, so with that, let's kill the fuel. down and off the light Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing what I'm dealing with, with the trim settings and so on. And uh, a bit, it's a little bit uh, of a learning curve for me. And I, as you can see, I've still got some fine tuning to do, but... Uh, the Nimbus helicopter is a, is really a nice development, and uh, she's fun to fly because she's a for me anyway she's a she's a bit of a challenge, and I do like a challenge. So with that, until next time. As I said, hope you enjoyed the flight. Hope it was entertaining and even maybe a uh, a little helpful to you. If you have the same issues I do, uh, but uh, good time had by all. So until next time, this is Buggeter64, and as always, remember, safe flying.